<laughs> hey everyone, welcome to the Six Pack. Richard, Tim, Howdy. of course, and uh, we're going to drink six beers. We are? No, we're going to taste six beers. <laughs> no, we're going to drink six, then we're going to drink six more. I, I thought he was just limiting us to six, but no. All right, let's All right. get down and dirty, huh? Down and dirty. First one is from Portland, Oregon. It's Old Town Brewing. It's their Pilsner, which is a pre-prohibition lager. 4.9%, and it's one pint, 32 IBUs. OG is 12.1 bricks, <laughs> or play so, so why don't you tell them a little story about Old Town Brewing? What Old, you told me earlier. Oh, uh, Old Town cool. Brewing used to be a brewery called McTarnahan's, and before that, it was called uh, Henry's Henry Weinhardt's Brewing. So I do believe it's all the same brewery. Uh, the cool thing about it is they're... Just different owners, right? Their bottling line used to go over a street in Portland back in the day. Uh, Henry Weinhardt's one. Yeah. It, and you used to be able to watch like bottles go across the road. Really? Yeah, to their bottling line Oh, that's cool. That's stuff, cool. So. I've never had this one. So, and yeah. I, I, I've been in... I like the Pilsners. It's a, It's not... It's not completely clear. No, it's not clear at all. It's Well, mine had, mine had a little yeast cake go down oh, there. Did it? Yeah. yeah, mine's even... You know, uh, I'll be able to poop good tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure Old Town Brewing. Mm. Old Town Smells Brewing. Good. I'm not sure who does it now. What brewery owns them now? It's a different brewery, but it's not going to be a fantastic beer. I can tell you that right now. Well, it's but. it's a pilsner. I mean, you're not. I mean, you'll get good stuff out of it. I, I think it tastes great. It's it tastes really good. Cloudy for a pilsner and. Smells like a pilsner. Yep. It's that lager, corny, yeah, eat, yeah, you know, sweet, a little sweetness to on the mm -hmm. on the nose, but it tastes good to me. It's got a little bitterness to it. It's kind of nice. A little bitterness. I pick up a little citrus, like mm -hmm. citrus, yeah. uh, like a cit bitter citrus. It's because it's got orange juice in it. See? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what it looks like. But. Oh, I yeah. that's a good beer. I mean, it's yeah, a, it's good. a this would be a great summer beer. I think you know, just kind of when it's hot out, it'd be easy drinking. Mm -hmm. so, a little on the bitter side for a pilsner, but yeah, it is. It's like a hoppy pilsner, I think. Yeah, or something. Yep. Nah, not, not hoppy, but bitter. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I know, more like a pale ale, middle kind of. of tongue kind of yeah. bitterness, you know. But. Yeah, a uh, what's it, out of office, out of mm. office. That's Tembro, right? Mm -hmm. That makes out of office, and that's a hoppy pilsner. And this kind of reminds me a little bit of it, but they're clearer. So, it's not bad. No, uh, no, get a nice citrus. No, that's, that's, that's one I brought. Not never had it before. I, mean, I tried to pick. I tried to pick beers that I've never had. So me too. And I have not <laughs> had any of these beers up here. Uh, me too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, actually, last night I had those three. But, oh, yeah. uh, other than don't that, count. I was already that, drunk. No. Uh, when I go buy beers in stores, I'm like, but what is there that I haven't had? And there was a variety pack nice. from throughout the United States. It's like, oh, I haven't had any of those beers because they're great. from Texas, Florida, <laughs> you know, whatever. You know? So it's like sweet, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's I I could drink more of this. <clears throat> this is frame, frame. Oh, this isn't frame. This no, is this old, is old town. town. Oh, I thought we were drinking frame. Too. Not yet. It's, it's not nice. frame. Pilsner. Frame <laughs> Pilsner is way better. Yeah. Oh yeah. Frame. Yeah. Frame. Is it frame? Frame. 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 P E R E I E M. Frame. Sounds like it's coming out of pot. No. No, it's uh, Frame makes some some really really good beers. So, and Old Town, I've heard I've heard good things of Old Town. So, wow, well, I'm shocked like the grapefruity orangey citrusness I'm picking up off the flavor. It's really nice. It's not in the nose at all, but on the flavor, it's like you know, the nose. You just get the yeah the, the lager, lager. I mean, lager, uh, sulfur, yeah. corny kind of. That's good. I get that all, all longer, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't get the nuttiness out of this like I do like a regular lager. Like a Coors Light. Yeah, like a Coors Light. <laughs> but, People mm -hmm. think I'm nuts because they say, oh, it's mm -hmm. nutty. But when you haven't drank one in a while and well, then you have one, it's like, wow. Yeah, they think we're nuts when we say that until we sit down with them. And this happened oh, several times sorry. with home brewers and craft beer drinkers. Like, sit down, let's drink one. And they go, you're right. Yeah. I do pick up a nuttiness, and it's, it's not like hazelnut nuttiness. No, it's it's just like it's nutty. It's yeah, like a bis not biscuit, but bready nutty kind of. Yeah. It's all from the Pilsner malt. Like you know? pie crust nutty. 
Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. Kind of, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's different, yeah. No, you were really talking nice. about the yeast cake. I stopped buying a few beers. I don't think it was a yeast cake. I think it was just a little, little, little burp. I probably already drank it anyway. But no, I've been running into a lot of craft beer with float, floating yeast and stuff. In it. And it drives me nuts because it's like, what do you got to filter your own beer before you drink it? Well, you open it and put it through a, a cheesecloth or something. Jesus. And my favorite pale ale was that way, Mirror Pond. Oh yeah, out yeah. of the can. Oh, it's horrible. It, it's like, are you guys cutting corners now? It drives me nuts. It's like, there was a time. Oh, those girls upstairs. Yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the hands are cackling. <laughs> Anyways, there was a time where they really did care about how their beer was in the bottle, and now it's almost like they're. A lot like, of the bigger breweries are yeah. going that way, you know. And Mirafon's yeah. owned by what the shoots. The shoots, yeah, and, and, and which is really, really shocking because we we just drank a Deschutes. Uh, uh, it's called the shoots. shoots. It's uh, D -A American Wheat. No, American Z. It's a lager. Lager, yeah. Mm -hmm. A light lager. We just had one of those, and I like the shoots for the most yeah. part. Yeah. Oh, I love their beers. I'm. We never you had know, that beer. It's yeah. funny. I I stopped when uh, Joe and I went to the coast. Mm -hmm. We went fishing. We stopped at uh, the Sea Hag and had a beer, and I had a a um, mirror pond, mm -hmm. and it. It tasted sour, uh, like like sour licorice to me, like oh, black man. licorice. It was so weird. They just hadn't cleaned their lines. Yeah, and shit. probably it not. It was so bad. Yeah, it was like, so bad. Uh, it's frustrating because it's like, oh, excuse me. I feel like we're in a, I don't want to say decline, but a, a decline of a lot of big brewer, breweries caring. It, it feels like that. It's like going back to the the '60s and '70s where you got Bud and Bud or Budweiser and Coors, and and mm -hmm. they just mass quantity producing yeah, and and. But there's been you know, and I can see kind of why. Why I can't see why because I love craft beer, but there have been so many breweries that have closed down. Yeah. Smaller breweries that have closed down over the last couple of years. It's been a lot. Mm -hmm. And a lot of big ones are getting bought up. and mm -hmm. oh, Little ones are getting bought up by the big guys. Yeah, and it's crazy. But Well, look at Ten Barrel. Ten Barrel got bought up yeah, by, yeah. Uh, was it Anheuser-Busch? One of them, yeah. And uh, there was another one that was local here that got bought up by Anheuser-Busch or Coors <laughs> or whatever the heck it is. And it was... Uh, I'm trying to think of all the breweries. Um, if wait, Miller, the, Coors. No, uh, one of the, the smaller breweries got bought out. Where at? Uh, just here in Oregon. Okay. Portland? or uh, I, I can't remember. I want to say it's over by Sandy Am or Salem or something. But I don't know. I don't know. It was... You stopped drinking it, too. Because they sold out. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, it's there is a freaking. lot of them, but anyway, over the last couple of years, there's What's been so the, many. One that preached, when they had their brewery going, they preached against Budweiser, yes. and Miller, and Coors. Three, 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 three sisters, uh, sisters, sisters, sisters brewing, brewing sisters maybe. brewing yeah. sold out, yes. I, I don't mind drinking beers that got bought up by bigger companies. But don't be the people that preach against the bigger companies and sell out to them. And then expect people to buy your beer. Because I've never been one to put down Coors or Budweiser because no. they're the most scientific breweries in the world. You know, Coors Light sells yeah. more beer every year. They sell more Coors Light than they do Bud, yeah. Budweiser, and Coors. Can you believe that? Coors yeah. Light. They're, do you know why they make Coors Light? Why? Because people buy it and drink it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, like... And if we were to open a brewery, uh, the ultimate goal, honestly, would be to retire from that. Mm -hmm. And if it meant Anheuser-Busch coming in and giving us $20 million for a brewery, I would say, okay, write me a check. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's $10 million each and we never have to work <laughs> yeah. again, you know. But then we can brew for fun. But I'm just, I have a hard time when people just preach against them, preach against yeah. them, preach against them. Oh, it's all craft beer, craft beer, and... Stay away from them, know the devil, and then get bought out by them. And it's like, oh, still buy my beer. Yeah, yeah. No, because you just sold your soul to the devil. Which to me, Budweiser, Coors, Miller, all that, Anheuser-Busch, is not the devil. No, not at all. 
they're just huge motherfucking breweries that they are, are very breweries. scientific and they can pull off. Well, like the you beer said, that they the lager is one of the hardest beers to yeah. to brew. Yeah. Period. Mm-hmm. And that's a science. They've got it yeah. down to a science. Yeah, they got. And the funny thing, they make a really strong lager, and then they water it down with water to make Bud and Bud Light. Oh, or Bud Light. Coors. No, Boldo. Oh, really? They have a very strong one. Gets watered down to. Some of I wonder if Bud. that's that Budweiser Bud Platinum or whatever they came out with here not too long uh, ago. No, because the only people that can drink that is the brewers. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so it's like if you can get your hand on some of that strong lager, yeah. which to me I'm thinking it's craft lager. Yeah. What they do is very craft lager, then they have to water it down yeah. to Bud and Bud, Bud yeah. Light and all that, but... Practice what you preach. I guess that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you ready for another one? I am. It's, it's, well, it's empty, so I guess I am. Swim, frim, freem, freem, freem. I know. I, I was. Say. I had to think about it. It's their bright pale ale, proudly crafted, it. humbly offered. They're out of Portland here, and and freem. Um, they make some amazing, amazing beers. By the way, they're not out of Portland. Oh, they're not out of Portland? Hood River. Oh, Hood River. That's <laughs> my bad. My bad. My bad. Uh, I had their IPA recently for the first time. Oh, yeah? And it was, yeah, oh, good, wow, really yeah. good. And I was like, oh, my Lord. Uh, you'll go broke for drinking their beers. Yeah, it's it's a little but, spendy. But it, you go to the tap room, it's the same price as any other beer. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's where I get I'll, I'll buy a bottle like this and go. Four dollars, <laughs> but then I'll go to tap room and drink three beers at five, six bucks a piece. Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, I need to get away from that. But bottled beer has a stigma. You it go does. to you go to the store buy a six pack and it's thirteen dollars. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, what happened? You know, I remember back <laughs> yeah. when you could buy it was six ninety nine. Yeah, seven ninety nine. So that's, that's a thing of the past. I, I catch think. myself doing that a lot. It's like, oh man, that's a lot of money. <laughs> There's only one beer. Poor George. Poor George was the one that was. It was another one that was bought out by by. Uh, Were they Anheuser Busch? I do believe. Yeah. No. Are you sure? I don't think so. I thought Fort George was. Oh, I'll have to look at that. Maybe it was Georgetown. I hope not Fort George because I had one of their beers last night and I'd never had it before mm-hmm. and it was their Optimist. Yep. Oh, good. yeah, that's a good beer. What about their? Uh... That was a good beer. I drank too many of them last night. I was a little, little hungover this morning. What about the IPA we drank golf? Oh, that was a Vortex. Vortex IPA. Oh, excellent! IPA. Don't drink it when it's a hundred degrees <laughs> out. Don't drink seven or eight of them when it's a hundred degrees <laughs> out and you're golfing and then, you know not drinking any water and and it's nine percent. Yeah, and it goes down smooth. It does. Here, let me see how smooth this will go down. Anyways, it's their bright pale ale is bursting with fruity and tropical hop notes such as white grapes, pineapple, and pine with tropical aromas of honeydew, melon, and passion fruit. Uh, When you experience this, it's crisp, fruity, and clean finish, you'll understand why we call it bright. To me, a bright ale should be clear, so hopefully it is. Five percent alcohol. Enjoy at 40, 45 degrees. I think we accomplished that. So, yeah, Let's do it. Yeah, none of them are super cold. I love their bottling, though. It's, it's very old nice. classic. Yeah, uh, that this is uh, old town, but it's oh, a lot like it. Smells good. And I love the neck labels on bottles. I don't know why, but maybe old fashioned me. I don't know. The neck labels. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's clear. It's clear. It has a little bit of haze to it, but not bad. But I can see my finger through it. So. Mm-hmm. Pineapple tropical. Oh, it is. Yeah, to me. I mango, pick up pineapple. pineapple yeah, mango. Yeah, mango is a good one. Mm-hmm. Mango, peach, pineapple. That's mm-hmm. nice. I like that. I have ne- The pro- problem with frim, frim, frim. I can never say it, but they do more of these bottles than six packs. Like you probably oh. won't find this beer in a six pack. Yeah, you can. Oh, can you? I think. Where did I see it? Safeway, I think had it. Hmm. But you know, it's thirteen dollars, <laughs> something like that. I, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, you get the piney for the bitterness on the flavor, not the nose, and it backs up with 
love that tropical. mango reminds me of mosaic hops a lot it's everything you want in a hazy ipa but in a clear smooth beer but it's not hoppy enough for an ipa to no paleo well a hazies yeah. aren't hoppy you know, that's true you know so it, it reminds me of a really good clear it's got a nice hazy. light bitterness to it yeah I really yeah like that and the bitterness is like a pineiness you know mm -hmm. which is what you want that's nice. It reminds me of that. Uh, These guys have really mastered this. We should go to Hood River and mm -hmm. visit it. Yes, we should. There's a mm -hmm. few breweries out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I, I know I always talk about going to Bend because I like That's Bend, good. but I, like I would really like to go to Hood River for a weekend and hit a couple breweries. That's like Vancouver. I'd love to go up there and hit all the breweries. That's starting to become a Washington. Little, yeah, that's really? starting to become a little brewery town too. Or it was before all this. I don't know what's going on now, you know, kind of thing. But yeah, I know uh, some friends of mine just mm. went to Hood River, even with the old, I almost said E. coli. <laughs> 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 with the COVID, it's, uh, they they went up there and they stayed in these tree house, a uh, tree house. Mm. And then hit a couple, three of the breweries. It was uh, awesome. Zach, Zach and Marilyn. Oh, yeah, a tree house, huh? Yeah. You can rent a tree house? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm game. Yeah, <laughs> I'm my gay, wife's man. not. As long as it's not like a hundred foot. Up, I'm, I'm sure yeah, it's no, not. I'm but... sure it's not. No, that sounds fun. Yeah. God, that's good. That is really good. I like that's that. That's good. I like that a lot. Mm hmm. We're working up really nice because we got a couple of hazies coming up and then a couple of IPAs. So that's be better good. than most hazy IPAs. That's really have. nice, isn't it? It's tasty. I get so. <laughs> Sometimes I get so tired of hazy IPAs. I love hazy <laughs> IPAs. But I, I so, like some of them. <sighs> some of them try to go too far in that. Yeah, by adding hazy. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's nice. That's this a is really one I I could sit back and just relax and drink this. It's one. a different kind of pale ale. Uh, when I think of pale ale, I think of Mirapont. Well, they said didn't they call it a crisp? Uh, Clean, bright, or bright, bright. Mm -hmm. It is very, bright. yeah, it's, very light. There's nothing on the no, tongue. No, it goes away. It, it goes. It's it's beautiful. It's really a nice beer. But when I think of pale ales, it's either Sierra Nevada, which is one spectrum of a pale ale, uh, which used to be yeah. to that us when we first started drinking was so fucking you know, bitter. What I've been drinking is that Sierra Nevada hazy little something. Yeah. That's not very hazy. <laughs> no, it is good. <laughs> they tried, but their beers come out pretty clean. But yeah. uh, and then Mirror Pond, because yeah. Mirror Pond to me should is the typical pale ale. It's English style. It's mm. ruby red kind of in color pale ale. You know, yeah, yeah it's nice. And it's got that the, nice malty kind of caramely. To yeah, it. yeah, and that's what I kind of go for for pale ales mm. normally. Bitter. And, this is really yeah, nice. But, yeah, this, this is, is really nice. This is. This I is a good, relax and drink good this. different kind of pale ale. Yeah. And with trying to keep up with... I'm sorry, you guys aren't boring me. I'm just... <laughs> trying to keep up with the haze craze, I'd rather have this. I, I think I would do. Because it has all the tropical notes that you're looking for for hazies. Right there. You're talking about hazies. Mm-hmm. So, uh, the other day, I was last weekend, my daughter and I, after I got done at the chuck wagon, like we went to... Uh, we went to one of the tap rooms in McMinnville <laughs> and I wanted to fill a couple of my growlers and go home and have a couple beers. And I was letting my daughter choose and she goes, oh, we should have What Rough Beast. Oh, and I was like, so good. What Rough Beast? Yeah. Have I had that? And she yeah. goes, you carried it in the restaurant, Dad. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. really? I said, let me taste it. And I tasted it. And I was like, oh, my God, yeah. We got my gallon growler filled with it. But me and her drank it one evening and. And oh yes. my God, that is a beautiful beer. Mm -hmm. I almost went and got some of that. And uh, yeah, we've it had was... it on the six pack before. Yeah, we. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. it's so good. Uh, that one break side beer. Yeah, mm -hmm. break side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have yet to have a break side beer I don't like. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have. I like their Pilsner. I like their IPA. I like their their. Uh, yeah, I'm their... not sure. I'm trying to think. I think it was burn. Was it Burnside? Burnside had we some went? iffy ones. Yeah, when we went to the fresh or the fruit fruit festival. Yeah, that was yeah. those Burnside brand. Yeah, yeah, they're no longer in business. No, no. Uh, they had a really good oatmeal pale ale. Yes, they did. When we went there, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it was mm. what rough beast. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'm just thinking of hazies, and I've been in a real IPA mood lately. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I want something more with flavor. Yeah. 
And yeah. this is nice. Um, yeah, this is like crisp, yeah. clean, tropical fruit. A little hoppiness to it. Tininess, yeah. hoppy. The bitterness. I love the nose. The nose yeah. is like that pineapple. guava, pineapple, mango. You take a can of pineapple yeah. and you drain the juice off and let it sit at room temperature. And that's, yeah. Mango. Mangoes, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That's really good, yeah. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. Very pleased with that one. <clears throat> All right. All right. These, this one Tim brought. Yep. This is from Oscar Blues Brewing in Colorado. Colorado. It and it's their Can O Bliss IPA series. It's their Hazy IPA. I do believe it is. Yeah, I saw Hazy. Yeah. IPA oh, on Hazy there. Indian Pale Ale. Yeah, that would be Hazy IPA. Yeah. Seven point two percent alcohol. You gonna mm -hmm. do the honors this time? Mm -hmm. yep. I did the last two, so I will do the honors. So. Okay, it better be good. I won't even smell the can. That's unusual. I smell. I smelt the the bottle oh, when yeah. I opened it. I don't normally do that. Well, it's got a haze to it. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Did you want more than that? No, that's no. fine right now. I'm gonna pace myself because I got four other beers upstairs that's a nice... and probably some some uh, uh, German beer over here. Oh, <laughs> the Amerifest is what I call it. Is that what it's you like call it? It's like an Oktoberfest, but made with ale yeast oh, and nice. American ale yeast kind of thing. So yeah. Here we're doing this, and we got a kegerator back here. We're mm. it. <laughs> oh, that's that's good. It smells good. It smells good. It's very light nose. Tropical. Very tropical. Yeah, yeah, just like the last one here. Mm. You have that nice. A different type of tropical to me. It's like. This is more of a sweeter tropical. That, yes. That was more yes. of the you fruot. Got, you got. This I'm, is more I was sweet. Gonna say, coconut the smell tropical, of, yeah. but there's no coconut. I don't get the coconut, no, it's, but it's, like a it's, coconut tropical kind of drink. It's like sweetness. this is like a pineapple mm -hmm. with no sugar, and this is like pineapple with sugar, basically, mm -hmm. is what it smells mm -hmm. like to me. Yeah, very sweet smell, hazy, definitely hazy, nice oh, yeah. yellow straw color. That's pretty good. Not bad at all. Very smooth. Oh, I went it doesn't linger either. It's no, not no. really heavy on the tongue. No, it's very tropical, like yeah. It almost reminds me of having like lactose in it, like like milkiness, like thick. You think so? I thought it was pretty light myself. But Didn't that's you? just me, yeah. Compared to this one, it was like yeah, but, yeah. Uh, in a good way though. I'm starting it's to get like, the dryness on the tongue now after mm -hmm. not having a drink. Yeah, for it a takes bit. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Oscar Blues. Either that or my tongue's going numb. If I start listing to one side, let me know. <laughs> Oscar Blues. They make so many good ones. Yeah, they're uh, out of Colorado, you said? Yeah, they make Dale's Pale Ale. Oh, yeah, I've had that one, A yeah. great Pale Ale, you know. Yeah. Old school kind of Pale Ale, you know. But... And see, I like the old school beers. Oh, I, you know, I really do. That's my issue. I'm such old school beer drinker. Yeah. and That's the kind of beers I like to brew. and You can't find those hardly anymore. You know, it's... I get so tired of the Imperial and Double and Triple mm. IPAs. Oh, yeah, and... yeah. Mm -hmm. All this other stuff, and it just seems like they're. I, I get people want to experiment and everything, but it seems like they're almost pushing the envelope a little too much sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it really doesn't give a quality product. I mean, quite honestly, if you're brewing beer, you're either brewing it for your own taste or you're brewing it to sell. And if you're mm -hmm. brewing it to sell, you want the masses to like it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? I mean, yeah, but then you have to rewind. Remember back in the day, we try Sarah Hops. Oh, it's so good, it is good. But when we first had it, it was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Or no, sorry. We first had it Hold was on. at Stampede. Hold on. Let me let me rewind. Ninkasi or IPA. What's that called? Oh, yeah. It's oh, Ninkasi IPA. God. Yeah. Um, what is that? Do, 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 do. It's not Tricer. It's not tri Tricer Hops. It's oh, their Imperial IPA it. or their Double yeah, IPA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Well, there's what we did here, right? There. Their name explains the bitterness on it. The IPA kind of like. Well, I'm gonna find out. Ninkasi IPA beers. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded horrible, didn't it? Oh my god! Right there, uh, right there. total domination. Total domination IPA. And Gee that's whiz. what the bitterness done to you. 
Yeah, it dominated. It, yeah. it was like, oh my god, this is so bitter. And then we used to get Tricera hops, which is their double IPA, which calmed everything down, which was perfect because it was more balanced of a beer. For years, I wouldn't drink IPAs. I'd only drink double IPAs because yeah, they were more yeah. balanced. I remember um, you wouldn't. Mm -mm. But now, yeah. now IPAs, I kind of want that bitterness. The older I get, I want that bitter beer face or something. I don't know what it is, but. Oh. Have you ever had Beer Dog? Beer Dog or Brew Dog? Brew Dog. Brew Dog? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're doing a special uh, pre-order for Ghost Walker six-pack. eleven ninety nine six six-pack. Where's that through? I don't know, through this place. No, oh, you're going to buy it. Through Brew Dog. Brew Dog or Bike Dog? What does it say? Brew Dog. Oh, they're... Uh, Lamb of God, Ghost Walker. Yeah, they're not from the United States. Where are they from? Um... They used to, have, they had a TV show too. That they came to the United States and brewed beer on weird things and stuff. But Bruto, yeah, that's eight. I think it's like England or something. Oh, be darn. Yeah, if you can get it here. Oh. Look at there, eleven ninety nine six pack amazing. pre order. It says it'll ship late May, early June. Mm -hmm. You will be notified. Wow, that's awesome. That, those are beers we can't buy here. That's pretty amazing. Anyways, on to this It asked what state I was from. Mm. Brewdog, they're known for pretty crazy experimental stuff. and Yeah. So, their whole TV show premise was they only brewed a five-gallon batch, but they done crazy shit while they done it and put crazy oh, stuff really? in it. Visited different breweries. Like, they went to Anchor Steam. And got the idea of their cool ship. Yeah, and I'm sorry. And <laughs> took a barrel like I have down here, cut it in half lengthwise, and put it on their, a roof of, I think it was Anchor Steam or somewhere, brewed their beer, and after they're done boiling, instead of cooling it down, they put it in the cool ship, because the cool ship used to be a big flat surface to cool the beer down overnight. And then they let it sit in there, and then they put it in the fermenter and fermented it. What happens, you get a lot of wild yeast and stuff in there. Sure, sure. So it's kind of... Well, it's cool like with, with the, when we belong to the, the brew club, mm -hmm. they had you brew beer and then leave it open by strawberry plants or yeah, whatever. Yeah, so they were the trying to cultivate the yeah. yeast. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, none of it ever worked out. But <laughs> mm. you know, I want... I kind of want to go to... Well, one of the things I want to do, I want to brew a wheat beer and... Don't use yeast. I want to go to a honeybee farmer, I guess. That's mm -hmm. what you call them. A beekeeper or whatever. Beekeeper. And I want a honey, a fresh honeycomb after they extracted the honey. Yeah. And I want to take that and put it in the fermenter and see if it wild ferment with a honeycomb. Really? For a, like Will a it? honey wheat. Should. Is there yeast in the honeycomb? There should. There's pollen and everything else from the That's bees. That's true. That's true. Huh. But I'm giving all my ideas away. A brewery better not do that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> a brewery might already be doing it. But, uh, you know, no, I was, stuff like that. I was bitching know? about that because I wanted to know mm. how much shipping was. Mm. And you have to go to checkout, put in all your information, then it'll calculate oh, yeah, shipping. Of course, of course. Because they want your info, and I hate that. Yeah. It just annoys me. Just tell me how much my shipping is mm. going to be. <laughs> Way I'm not going to. $42 <laughs> for a $12 six pack mm -hmm. of beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what's next here? About? Frame. Frame. I got another frame. It's our hazy IPA. All right. It Seven, looks a little hazy. 7.9% That's what I said. This one's got a pop to it, too. Bottled March 17th, 2020. I like the fact that they put the dates that they bottle on yeah, their bottles. Yeah, me too. Want to get hazy? I do. In Frame Hazy IPA, you'll find aromas of strawberry, mango, and papaya... With uh, juicy notes of grapefruit, white grape, and citrus. If you're looking for haze, you've clearly found it. Hmm. I wonder if it's going to be clear or hazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm still waiting. Oh. That's 
I can tell you. I can still tell you my favorite hazy IPA. Oh yeah, what's that? It's uh, hazy skies. That raspberry haze from that brewery in Washington. Oh yeah, that we called. Yeah. Yeah, out of uh, Yakima. Yeah, yeah. It was so good because you don't get fruited like raspberry hazies. You know? Or for people that live in the United States, raspberry. I give my brother a bad time because he says raspberry. I can tell it's seven point nine percent. It's it's got an alcohol smell to it. Smell to it. it. Yep. I knew that. It's 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 almost. I hate saying this. It's mm. almost got a little skunkiness to it, doesn't it? Mm. You may say. Maybe. Are you picking up like dankiness from the hops? Maybe. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. I don't smell like skunk's ass, well, but it's hazy. It's not a Stella or a <laughs> no, uh, skunk, but or, or Corona sometimes. Oh Boy, some Coronas, you get a six pack of Corona and it's all nasty skunk butt, and then the next one is it, you gotta drink Coronas cold. And uh, if, you, if they get warm mine, that dude. much, warm. <laughs> it's nice yellow haze, beautiful white. Bright white head. That is so much sweeter than I thought it was going to yeah. be. Wow. You know, it's funny because on this one, on this one you smelt the sweet mm -hmm. tropical. On this one you taste the sweet. Yeah. It's very thick. Yeah, it is. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. Yep. 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 Like brown sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not what I was expecting. I was actually expecting a little more bitterness to it with being seven point nine. But you know that's pretty impressive that it's seven point nine. There's no alcohol bite, no nothing. It reminds me of like a double IPA thickness mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I on the smell you get the like the alcohol smell to it. Oh yeah, you get which that, you should you get that I mean, dankiness. That, there, there's so much dankiness you know? there. Maybe a little hint of pineapple on the nose, but not much. Not much nose on it compared mm. to the others. No, not a lot. Mm -mm. I, I'm I'm shocked that it's not more. It doesn't have more of an alcohol bite mm. with it. You know that? Mm. I, I really am. And the sweetness is, it to me, there's a little too much sweetness. It's it's almost a little off-putting to me. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Sweetness. I was expecting more of a, a bitter than a sweet. And I know hazies aren't typically yeah, supposed yeah. to be real bitter, but this has no bitter. I don't, I mean, it's, I think this one had more bitterness <laughs> than that. Don't you? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, I don't. God, it's so sweet. And it even smells sweet. It I smells don't want like, to say it has the feel of a milk stout, but I don't think that's the feel of a milk stout. Like, I couldn't drink a bunch of this. Yeah, it's not real light. No, it's not no, real light. It's but, not light on the tongue. It's very creamy. But imagine this. Outside. Feet kicked up. You got a nice bonfire going at the end of the night. That wouldn't yeah, be bad. That wouldn't, wouldn't be, be bad, bad at all. Mm -mm. Where you'd normally go for like a dark beer or a dark oh. brandy or something by the fire. or yeah. <laughs> Coco cow. <laughs> yeah, cow. No, Coco cow. Go, go, the one uh, for that we oh, had yeah, last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was good. I, uh, yeah, it was good. I left you a few too. Mm -hmm. uh, did you drink them all? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They were so good. That's like eating Come dessert. On. It's like drinking dessert, isn't it? I liked having... I'm out. I gave Joe my last one. It's like... You can't expect to leave an alcoholic some beers and not drink. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. That was my perfect nightcap. At, yeah. at the end of the night, I'd have a few beers or whatever during the day, but at the end of the night, I just was sitting there watching TV. It was 10 o'clock at night, and I said, I'm going to have a beer. And I had to go have one of them Coca Cows. And... Oh, yeah. They were great. <laughs> Matter of fact, uh, when I brewed the October Did you let her fest, try it? Did you let Monica try it? I think so. I don't remember. Did she like it? I don't oh. remember. But when I brewed, yeah, you know, we talked about beer, and I can remember. I talked about the wife. I can't remember now. <laughs> but uh, uh, when I brewed the Oktoberfest, the during the big brew, that's when I drank the the other ones. Yeah. yeah. Because I think the night before we were over and done six pack. Yeah, yeah. And then that day I was so freaking hungover. We drank those and that. And helped. we done a Zoom. You know what Zoom is? Oh yeah, we thing. yeah. Well, a bunch of us got together and done a Zoom call or meeting. Oh, really? While we brewed for a big brew. Oh nice. And I got to meet a bunch a uh, bunch of brewers I've been following, home brewers I've been following for years. Mm, cool. And finally got to talk to him. So you set up a camera and stuff, and like oh, yeah. this, and, yeah. and yeah. just set it up and talk. I set up Monica's tablet. 
and had it there while I was brewing and everybody else was brewing. And That's cool. That's it was cool. really awesome, you know. And That's a weird sweetness to that. Mm hmm. It's very filling. It's like thick filling. Like yeah, I couldn't drink a lot of these. It's, mm. it's kind of like the, the but Coca Cola. But for 8%, it's, like it's pretty 7.9. It's not quite 8. Pretty easy drink. <laughs> it's really easy drinking for 8%. Uh, that'll okay. get you going. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, they have for breakfast. That's a breakfast beer. <laughs> mm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. Not at all what I expected. No, no. Okay, so, so far, it's going to be a hard choice of what I like the best here. Mm -hmm. I, I, they're all pretty darn good. So, we got two more. Would you say this is the worst prim that I've had? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, this is, it's it's not it's bad. Not it's bad. not a bad beer. No. It's not let a bad beer. Let me say word. Okay, but let me rephrase that. It's the, I like this one the least out of all the frames that I've There I, you go. <laughs> that I, I, it's I, still I, a great beer. It is. It's mm -hmm. it's so amazing to me that it can be that high alcohol and not have a bite at all. You know, and Jesus. be that sweet. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, not. It's almost like you take a you take a, a hazy, a little bit of a hazy, that's not really bitter or anything, and then you add a spoon of sugar and you eat it. It's good. It's kind of weird. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Get to get full from it. No. <laughs> Cheers. I can't do that. I ate about a half hour before I came over. He ate right before I came over, so he's already full. <laughs> oh. I brewing beer today, and I had two German Hefeweizens and yeah. a Kolsch. Yeah. Uh, like this size. I went, and like, it was right. slow for lunch. And Chuck Wagon, so I met Joe over at the tap room and had two Fuzztail Hefeweizens oh, from, nice. uh, and we both had Sorry, Hefeweizens today without even knowing it. Mine was a little more banana clove. Yeah, even. that's all right. I would have had one. Yeah, uh, I, I, I had got to, to where I like it more. I had to drink a German Hefeweizen because that's what I was brewing today. Oh, so you, I needed to brew a German Hefeweizen. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So I had to get the influence from the German gods. Yeah. <laughs> it was an extract batch. I haven't brewed extract since 2011. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it was fun. <laughs> it was almost. It was it easy? Yeah. It's, eh. No challenge to yeah, it. It's yeah. just. I it enjoy is. the brewing process. Yeah. The whole all grain brewing process. That's why I won't give up a, uh, propane burners. Yeah. And go electric, or yeah. go in like a a three vessel electric wouldn't be bad, but like the all in one brewing a bag kind of one vessel. Oh yeah. You put all yeah. your grains in, you take them out, and then you still. You know, sure. I like the traditional brewing method. Oh, I'm kind of yeah. dumb, but. A lot of people go for ease and time savings. I'm like, no, it's been it's 10 fun. Hours. You take the I'll whole spend day. ten hours out here, you know, drinking beer, brewing beer, and watching it's... your look at your flame. It's a lot like barbecue, you know. That's why oh, I like yeah. the stick burner or yeah. the pellet. It's like, it's relaxing. Sit, watch your fire, or your, keep your temperatures. You yeah, actually I have, have a... to go to your smoker to adjust the temperature. To... I'm trying to think. You know, I haven't. <clears throat> In 10 years, probably the only time that I've been relaxed and enjoyed barbecue like that was when we did the rib cook-off. Yeah, yeah. And still then it was a little stressful, but it wasn't You'll bad. You'll have to but, come over and we'll have to roll out the and smoker. And... I just, I, I don't get that opportunity because I own my own barbecue place mm -hmm. and it's like, it's a, you're, you're cooking for the masses. <laughs> it's it's production. all about production. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, when we closed down the the barbecue for a while and and we we sold the restaurant closed down the cart we had and i wasn't doing anything all winter and i was really getting into cooking though mm -hmm. and i never i never barbecued no <laughs> I'm of course you, not. never barbecued i i grilled mm -hmm. on my grill but um and i i was really starting to enjoy it again and, That's and i mean i enjoy it now but i enjoy making money mm -hmm. <laughs> so i love open pit cooking yeah i love it so much when we go camping you know what I cook our meals on? The fire pit. The fire pit and the hot dog roaster things. Oh, I'll yeah. load them up with chicken. I'll prop them up and turn them and stuff. I oh, love yeah. that style of cooking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's awesome. It's fun. It's yeah, fun. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. go camping this year. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's, it's funny. It's, mm. it's, this is the first summer because of all this COVID crap. 
that <laughs> that I don't have any of my fairs and festivals. Yeah, so, bench, yeah. so I get to I get to go camping for the first time in nine ten years. I get this will be the first Fourth of July that we're gonna hang yeah. out and not be working or, or <laughs> I have to run like, over yeah, and check yeah. on my booth. We we did the yeah, rib cook off, yeah. but I never got to really just relax and enjoy my family. And so we're gonna have a big seafood boil and cornhole. And, Cornhole, yeah, I got I got them two sets. I just gotta find the bean bag. But um, but yeah, it's I'm I'm really excited about enjoying just slow down, slowing down. Relax. I just got the, the yeah. cart going and yeah, that's and awesome. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun and and the cart is keeping me off and I'll tell you, yeah. makes you reevaluate a lot of things. Yeah, so it really does. Mm-hmm. It really does. Think about selling a lot of stuff. But, no, one but then next year the fairs are going to come around and I'm going to be yeah. itching to go. I love doing my fairs. I might cut They're it back. Fun, I yeah. might cut it back a little. If we do the state fair, I don't think I'll do barbecue. No. I think I'll do uh, just the mac and cheese, grilled cheese, and the... Uh, wings. Wings, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, that one made money. Especially when they put you by the beer. Yeah, baby. <laughs> wings and beer. <laughs> but Well, that's like Wayne. He told me, he says, why don't you put the barbecue there, too? He wants me over the one spot I was at, but that was kind of yeah. off the path. But um, anyway, let's do another. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna hear him say it now. What? The name. D. E. L. L. U. M. Bloom. IPA. Uh, Elum. Elum. IPA. This is from Texas. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Texas. Over the top. <laughs> It's Texas. That's, that's where Sh- Shinerbach comes from. Tropical fruit, citrus, pine, and floral floral aromas. Uh, deep Elium Brewing Company. E L L I U M. Elium? Yeah. Uh, 70 IBU, 7% alcohol. So, wait a minute. There's. Dallas, Texas. You said there's, there's, there's citrus. Tropical, tropical fruit, fruit, citrus, pine, and floral. Wow, oh, that's a lot going on. <laughs> that is a lot going on. No. One day, one weekend, you have to come over that's and we'll good. roll out the uh, offset smoker offset. and just sit back. Sit back tending to the fire is fun for me. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why, but that's like baking bread. I love baking oh, bread. I, 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 I told, my, I told um, my wife I'm bringing the... the um, the Smoky Mountain, or yeah. Smoky Mountain, yeah, yeah, Smoky WSM. Mountain, yeah, Smoky Mountain, yeah. I'm gonna bring it home. It's been in storage for oh. you, since St. Paul Road, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna bring it home and start just having fun. Around. Just have fun. Do things that you normally don't do. But. Huh. Anyways, what do you pick up? Alcohol, like rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know what it smells like? That hand sanitizer. Yeah, <laughs> that hand sanitizer everybody's been using. Uh, I get it if you a real long inhale. Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah. A little alcohol bite to the nose. Yeah, yeah. Real mm-hmm. long inhale. Not as pleasant as the creme alcohol bite on the nose. I don't pick up a whole lot of like maybe a tad bit of pineapple, but I don't know. There's not much on the nose. I don't get the floral. Not much. Um, there's a citrusy there. Mm-hmm. I'm picking something up. It's. Wait a minute. You're waiting for me to say mm-hmm. it, aren't you? Mm-hmm. There's a flavor there. can't put my tongue on it there's a flavor there i've tasted before it's like a bitterness of a grapefruit well i've gotten the bitterness i got the, the bitterness the grapefruit like but there's a almost toasty nutty weirdness to mm. it like a caramely malt yeah like kind of the... i i'm always through the mouth and out through the nose and that's how i get a lot of my mm. 
it's a, probably like an English malt character yeah. that you're picking up. It's not your. The only time I, I get alcohol, the only time I get alcohol is real long breaths in through yeah, the real yeah, long yeah, You got to really you, take you, a long. You one. get a you get it way back up in here. And seven percent. Yeah. Okay, I'll give them that. But it, it it reminds me of that hand sanitizer. I wish I, there was more hops on the nose for what the yeah. description says. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, um, I don't get the floral. I don't get the floral. I mean, really, it's it's there's. I don't I don't get it. Maybe the floral to me is ah. in the bitterness of the taste. No. Oh, breathe in through your mouth and nose at the same time. When you do that. You get more of the alcohol. Oh yeah, of course. It, wow, crazy. And then when you take a drink, do you ever breathe in through your nose while you're drinking? No. Try that at the same time without choking. I can't swallow and <laughs> breathe in. You don't have to swallow, but oh. taking it in, you get the flavors and the smell at the same, kind of same time. I learned that when I was I judging beers. I don't get the flowery. I just don't get floral at all. I don't well, get floral. Hot floral is different than like. Flower floral. Oh, it's because I've had beers where it's floral. It's, yeah, it's well, yeah, yeah, boom. Yeah. You're you're sucking on a rose, but but to me name. maybe the bitterness is part the of it floral. Is floral. Um, it's not bad. I get the. It lingers a little. The, it, it's bitter. Yeah. <laughs> not over the top. Not not over the no. top. No, that's not bad at all. That's it's pretty decent beer, really. And they're out of Texas. Texas. It's not over wow. the top for Texas, uh, but no. Well, Texas has never been one for over the top, anyway. Because but like, I mean, you look at Shinerbach. Uh, Shiner, yeah. you've had Shinerbach. Uh, carried it down to the restaurant. That's that's the beer of Texas. That's the Texas state beer is Shinerbach, and and that's if you drink bar, or if you drink barbecue, you eat Shinerbach. <laughs> if, 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 if you eat barbecue, you drink Shinerbach down there, and and it's true. I mean. From what I understand, anyway, it yeah, has some pretty good caramely notes. It, it does have a nice yeah, little caramel like to it. English. There, there's a there's a flavor there that are a, there's something I'm picking up that I cannot figure out what it is. Dark caramel, toasty oat kind of toastiness to it, like like an English malt to me. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah you get. Kind of reminds me of the flavor, a little bit of the flavors you get from the English, the brown ales. Brown. Little, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Not a bad thing. No, no, it's it's just different. It's it almost just different. Like a, I don't want to say burnt caramel, but. Kind of, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, the bitterness, coffee, maybe? the bitterness coffee. makes it taste like yeah. a burnt caramel. Maybe coffee. Like, mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Way to go, Texas. I'd drink it again. Yeah, yeah. That's the cool thing about that 12 pack. You know, it's four breweries. That tasted. Now, now it smells fish. <laughs> I, I smell fish and scallops. Oh. Whoa. Oh, there's one now. That's what I had for dinner. I think it's gone bad. Woo, <laughs> <laughs> that was strong, dude. That 12 pack, that's the awesome thing. It's like, I get four beers. Four I've of each, yeah. Never, or three. Oh, three of each, yeah. Four different breweries. I've never had. That's cool. That's kind are of cool. they going to continue doing that? Or? I think so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Are they? Gonna, uh, hopefully, they don't just do IPAs. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, they do IPAs, pale ales, lagers, pilsners, whatever. Yeah. You know, like, uh, theme maybe. Dark but ales. You know. That's the first time I saw it. Was, like, oh, let's look here. This one was canned on four fourteen twenty. Oh yeah, in April. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was looking at some. This one was canned on four fifteen twenty. Yeah, April again. So it's I was looking pretty at the last fresh. While you got it, you can introduce. Yep. It. This one was canned on three nine twenty. Good Gra month. Grammar pirate. It says. Grammar pirate. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, I didn't uh, read this. Three Weavers Brewing. It's oh, there. You're spilling. You're spilling. Oop. X pirate. Pour, pour some in here and then you can spill. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. X. That's pretty. Patch. How do you? How would you say that? 
Expatriate. Patriot? I think so. Let me see. There's no O in it. Yes. Patriot. 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 Why, yeah, why would there be an O in there? Patriot. O. O at the end? I don't know. Oh, oh. Inspired by the Three Weavers Community, our West Coast IPA. Key. West Coast IPA is old fat, old style IPA. They're from Florida, right? Very oh. uh, bitter and oh, clear. Oh, boy, yeah. Uh, is bright and laden with notes of tropical fruits brewed with two-row barley, a touch of English crystal malts, and loaded with New Age American hops. Uh, home no is, is home no matter where you are. It's more than beer, it's community. Hmm. Where's that tell you? 6.9% alcohol. It bugs you when it's still... It, it's horrible. It's a foul. It's it's yeah. a party foul. Yeah, what's that? So. Hmm? Oh, just looking. <laughs> well, I, saw, I leaned like this and I saw something in my head. It's a little timer up there on your phone. So. Let's oh, see. That does not smell very good. It's very clear. Nice, tight, white head on it. It's yellow. Urine yellow. I wonder if they use gator to do this. Oh, it has a sweet smell to it. Sweet <clears throat> and alcohol. Oh, I don't pick up alcohol. I take long nose, so. <clears throat> Citrus nose. Mm -hmm. Well, as soon as it hit my mouth, it was sweet. Mm -hmm. And crisp. Where's the hoppiness? Where's the bitterness? I'm. Uh, this is an IPA. I want some bitter and hoppiness. No, there's it's... none there. Hmm. It's like this one. Mm -hmm. Kind of. It's a very mellow very bland. Very mellow bitterness. It's really smooth though. It's smooth. Yeah. It's oh. real light on the tongue. I'm getting a little more bitter now as it lingers. You're going to look it up? Yeah. It's a new age, old style West Coast IPA. No. Mm -hmm. um. What are you looking up? The name here. I dig it. I like it. Here. Expatriate. I was right. Expatriate. 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 Huh. It's very weird. It's more mm. than beer. It's community. Swirl it up. Tell me if you get... Uh, any like tropical 6.9%. Huh? Yeah. Don't know if you get it. I don't know. I kind of got a little skunkiness to it. But no, I don't. A little get dankiness. Skunk. Huh? Swirl it up. I'm not a big swirler. I get pineapple. Oh, I got that right off the bat. Oh, okay. okay. Pineapple. It's like an old school IPA made with modern tropical hops. Well, they are in Florida. They have a lot of tropical stuff down there. Now, what you uh, said, Florida? No, I didn't see where it was from. No. Oh. Huh. I, I, I thought Florida. that was Florida. Did I say that earlier? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was Cigar City. California, California. Sorry, California. Cigar City was Florida. And we don't have that one down here. No, sorry. That's a good IPA. I pick up. It does smell better once you swirl it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You get the pineapple tropical kind of. It's very pineapple. Like I was expecting more of a, a hoppiness, a bitterness. I pick up a little bit. There's Out of all bitter. of them, this is the most bitter beer. To me. To me it is. I don't know. That one's way more bitter. See, I didn't think so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm joking. No, it's everybody's. See, I don't get hardly any bitterness from this. Right when I first tasted a little bit, but yeah. 
It's a modern age uh, West Coast IPA. It's very good. I would drink it. <laughs> it's it's you got a weird your mind. Then why you drank it? <laughs> well, it, no, it's it's weird to me because it's, it's got a weird mm-hmm. nose to it. Mm-hmm. It's it, when I first smelled it, I smelled skunky kind of. Sad up. I, I just, and if I'm drinking an IPA, I want a little bit more bitterness in that. And I can't believe I that it. you thought that was the most bitter out of today's. I thought this one had, was the most bitter. Uh, to me, this one ranks up with that one and that one. As far as bitterness. Mm. Smooth. Yeah. It yes. doesn't linger. Dries out the tongue a little bit. Could be all the other beers we're drinking too, drying out the tongue. You never know. I'm not offended by it. No, I'm not offended by any of these mm-hmm. beers. Wow, we didn't give an awful face tonight. No, mm. not too bad. Pretty good. <laughs> That's kind of bad. I don't mind. This one's got a funny, funny, there's a funny little flavor there that I can't <laughs> describe. Mm. All right, break out the water. I want to rinse my glass. It's oh, right it's over here. Yeah. So, what are you going to answer? Why, why you want to taste? I'm going to try, yeah, a couple. Of them. You've already drank a lot of them. Or no, I know. I want to go back to a couple of them. We've yeah. had so many different beers without rinsing. I've known, yeah. I know beer drinkers and homebrewers that can't switch beers without rinsing their glass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bit. Mm, smells like water. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice vintage blend. <laughs> mm. I just want to kind of cleanse the palate a little bit. Oh, that tastes good. good. I like water. Water's good. Water's good. Well, you better try. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Okay. <laughs> Having a hard time to no no. Which Damn it! I swear to God, I'm gonna fire him if he spills again. I'm gonna cut his ass off. Yeah, see, I don't pick up the nose from that. I don't know if it's just like from fatigue from drinking all these beers. I need a little pineapple. Hmm. So I cleared this. I'm gonna give this one another shot because I, I really I didn't give it a. My top Give two. Give a full shake here. The top two beers are actually from the friends. Honestly. God, that's so sweet. Now, see this one. I'm picking up a nuttiness from the malt. Mm. Mm. Oh, you want me to every I guess we gotta rinse our glass now. No. <laughs> Now that tastes different now. It's warmed up even more. Yeah. It's and it's uh what does it's hoppier? No, <laughs> what does uh ah, shit when the wine people it's breathe. You have to breathe it. <laughs> yeah, let it breathe. Yeah, let, let it, it breathe. breathe. Us huh. beer drinkers were like, it's in a keg, let's drink it. <laughs> <laughs> breathe my ass, I can breathe that drop. Oh, I'm burp so, it out. I'm so guilty. Normally I finish a five gallon keg before it's been two weeks, you know, I was yeah. like, oh, I need a, well, I need to have patience. My way of letting a beer breathe is when I burp. Mm-hmm. That's all there is to it. That's a breath. To me, I'm so excited about drinking the beer that it's like, okay, I'll oh, shake carve it. I need to stop for, uh, for sh- carving. shake carbon and just set it to the pressure and let it car- take two weeks to carve. I just need to do it. I've been brewing since 2010. I still can't do it. Do you know, Tim, I really don't think we've had a bad beer tonight. Oh, no, we haven't. This one tastes better to me than it did earlier. Mm. Weird. Weird. Mm. It's different. It's good. Yeah. Very good. Very, very good. So I guess we come down to the question. I ain't ready yet. 
Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. We gotta go back and explore a little more. It's gonna be like a, a four hour <laughs> since back now. Oh no. Here, I'll rinse my glass. Oh, I can't. Mm -hmm. This is the only one that we drink the whole bottle of. Well, because it's what, a Pilsner, right? Mm -hmm. I only remember what it tastes like. It tastes like Pilsner. Honestly. It was good. It had a little yeah, hoppiness it, it to it. It was like a hoppy medicine. Pilsner, remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, so. You know what I get off of this? Nope. The smell of marijuana. <laughs> the dinkiness of hoppy. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Oh. Which one's that? Oh, this one? Mm-hmm. 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 Deliberation right now. Like, hmm. Mm. Your favorite. You gotta drink that and try that though. No. Which one? That one? No. I know. I'm mm. trying to get you drunk. Your wife's here to drive. To me. Your wife's here to drive you home. I, whenever <laughs> I come over here, I always bring. I always have my wife drive, oh, so always, that I can. Always, I can. Always. I can ride. Vice versa. Yeah. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, honey, uh, we gotta go to Richard's to film a six pack. Oh, that's only oh. happened like twice. Mm -hmm. I know. But one time, all the kids were there. Oh. And that was crazy. Oh my god. Didn't My help. grandkids didn't help. We were so trash before we started oh. on that one. <laughs> on, I think the last six pack was the most sober I've been before we filmed. I was pretty sober today. I had a couple beers yeah. earlier, but then I went home and I had a beer and then ate and then came here. Yeah, I had two German Hefeweizens and Kolsch mm -hmm. and then a pill, uh, Deschutes. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Okay, I'll have a little bit mm. of this. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Swirl it. Hey, let me do my Come thing. On, I, I, no, I smell those. pineapple right off the bat. Mm. I don't need to swirl it to smell mm -hmm. the pineapple. I got a good sensor. Good nose. That's good too. Oh, oh excuse me. Okay. What's your least favorite? Probably the yellow can from Texas. Honestly. It's not a bad thing. It's not saying it's a bad beer because it's not. I drink any of these beers any of the time. I'd buy any one of these beers that we, we've had. <clears throat> if you turn around, I'll see the name. Oh. Oh, there's two names. Oh, check that out. I think I done that earlier to you. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, mm. we've had six really good beers tonight. It's it's a hard choice. It, it, it really, really is. is. Um, mm. Well, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say my least favorite out of all of them, and I loved all of them, but my least favorite was the Pilsner. Mm. It was good. Only it was really good. I didn't say that's my least favorite because I don't remember it. Yeah, that's the reason I'm saying no, it's my least so. favorite because I, I don't mm -hmm. remember it. And a lot of these I remember. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's it's a good beer. Oh. <laughs> don't get me wrong. But no. I really don't have a least favorite. I, I really think they're all kind of my favorite. But we always do this where we have to pick one. And mm -hmm. usually it's easy. It's so easy. Yeah, yeah. This it's... is the hardest I think it's ever been. Yeah. Isn't it? When we first started... I would say the uh, bright pale ale was my favorite, but when I went mm -hmm. back through, it's not. Ain't that weird? As they warmed up and open, the Cano Bliss is my favorite. Hmm. It has the best nose and it has the best flavor hmm. to me. <laughs> like this one me too me too especially when we first drank it, it was like 
Oh my God, this is a really no, great. I got. I got to give. I'm gonna give this one a fair shake. I gotta try it again. All right. That I'll one. Time I, that I don't know if I'm gonna try that again. I might. That's like weird. An old school, new school IPA mixed together kind of thing. You know. I really like the color of that. And I said this is my least favorite tonight. But the prob the problem, problem is, is it looks like that my piss after drinking a whole night. <sighs> I don't know. I don't There's know. There's something like that. different with that. Mm. Very, yeah. Really bitter, which I like sometimes. That's a big caramel sweetness to me. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with that. Actually, I'm gonna change. I think this is my least favorite. Yeah, I really do. Mm. I, it's kind of weird, mm. you know. Mm. It's good, mm. but least favorite out of six really good beers. Mm -hmm. Which I hate saying a least favorite. You know, like like. <laughs> it's tough, you know. I try not to be too critical. But, you, know. you know, any I'm day gonna, of the week, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be, use. I'm gonna be really. Oh, I got a cramp. <laughs> You're gonna be really. Oh, I got a cramp. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up for a minute, guys. <laughs> I gotta think about this. Get some serious <laughs> stuff right here. It's rough getting old. Uh, <laughs> I didn't eat my banana today. <laughs> I always eat a banana every day. It's great. Now, potassium. see, this is more bitter than that green can. Yes. Than. Yes. And you said that that was the most bitter. Yeah, that one. No, I said it was bitter. Yeah. Or it, I said this one had no bitterness. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um. Gosh. I'm going to go out there. Cano Bliss IPA is, out of all these... After going back and evaluating, was probably the one I would take out to. I beach. think I think I would I would drink this one more. Yeah. I really do. I don't. I just like the way it it all hit. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it better when we first had it. Then going around again. But let's see. Sorry. Let try. <sighs> no, you're not. <laughs> walk, walk. I'm dying over here. <laughs> I got a cramp in my damn leg. <laughs> oh, I get cramps. In, I get cramps in my legs so bad. Yeah. If I don't eat a banana every day, oh, oh. man, banana is great for potassium. Potassium stops mm -hmm. the cramps. Mm -hmm. When you get dehydrated and you drink a lot of beer, mm -hmm. that means you got to triple up your water. Oh God, I drink mm -hmm. a lot of water though. I drank mm -hmm. a, a gallon growler today of water. <laughs> so and about a gallon of beer. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, this looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> I got a cramp in this leg and that leg. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> uh, Six great beers. Really good beers. Awesome really, company. Really good beers. Great company. You yeah. don't do it far enough, in my opinion. No cramps next <laughs> time, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's my monthly time. Yeah, I'm having my time pants. <laughs> Says nanopause. <laughs> Damn near, huh? I stand up, but look. Hey, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the giant <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Can't Anyways. see me now. Eh, there I am. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining us and putting up with us. If you yeah. stuck around this long, I'm sorry. Oh, oh yeah, I really am. But Good times. Good times. Six great beers. If you're ever Wonderful. out and about, you can find these beers. Try them yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay, go ahead. On that note, your turn. Life's uh, too short to drink beer. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love your family, love your friends, and love your beers. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm.